Hi Libra, this is going to be your daily download for March 6, 2022. Uh, good for Sun, Rising, Moon, Venus, or Mercury placement of Libra. I also get the sense that it might resonate with um, maybe like a Mars in Libra, anywhere where Libra is in your natal chart. I felt a download coming through for some of you just today. So pulled out some Oracle cards and the tarot, of course, to take a look at it. It's general, okay? So just keep that in mind. Just as, this is just what I felt coming through. If you're new, welcome to Samashandra Libra. Subscribe and hit the bell so you know when I read for you. I read for you guys a lot here. So let's get into it. So they asked me to pull out the Heavenly Bodies Astrology deck first. Fourth house, culture and family roots, home, peace and comfort. Aquarius, originality, philanthropy and progressive images. Aquarius is about uh, very future focused and change. I have Chiron, Hurt and Heal, South Node, Destined to Release, and at the bottom of the deck, Fire, Confidence, Optimism, Passion, and Bravery. Hopes and Wishes came out at the bottom of the deck as well. Ooh, and Taking a Risk. Hang on. Hopes and Wishes, Taking a Risk, Forgiveness and Money, and what came out is you're on the right path and determination. I can't do it as here, but it's determination. So if this isn't resonating for you, Libra, it could be about a person coming towards you. So I was like, woo, this is ex this is exciting. Um, first of all, I think someone might be moving or wanting to create a radical shift here. I have death, the world, the chariot seeing success, new opportunities. So endings that are bringing new beginnings, hurt and heal with Kiron, but someone is destined to release that you or someone coming towards you and they know it. This may have to do with like think the, the roots of our being, the fourth house is like a mother child bond, your past, where your roots, where you come from, your home, what brings you comfort and Aquarius wants to be more original. It's a progressive imagining and uh, moving forward with change. Um, this is bringing in a lot of confidence and optimism and passion and, and bravery. You, you're going to have to be brave right now, Libra. You're definitely destined. Someone is realizing they're destined to release uh, old wounds and uh, move towards a brighter future. Spirit wants you to know that you're on the right path, but it will take determination and hopes and wishes, dreams coming true. Yeah, your advice. They just want me to use two cards from the fairy oracle deck, the garden fairy and the twilight fairy. There is something, there is a twilight happening in the garden of your life or in someone else's life. I feel as though the sun is setting on something and there's something new coming in. She's petting a baby unicorn. Unicorns are hard to spot in mythology, let alone a baby. And this baby unicorn really trusts her. So there's a twilight happening and something magical happening and a new birth of some kind. The garden fairy says the spirits are all around you. So allow yourself to grow in full knowing you are beloved. You're very loved. You're very safe right now. Your spirits are all around you, supporting you and loving you. And with the twilight fairy, you may feel that you cannot move forward in life, but you are blessed. So move on with love. Yeah, move on. Something's destined to be released. Um, for anyone that is between the ages of 49 and 52, or maybe after the age of 50, I know I have some people in that age bracket watching, you nailed your Kiron return. Okay, it's over now. And uh, you've gotten in touch with this. You're destined to release it. It may surround your cultural and familial roots. And I can see that you want radical change too with Uranus. It might feel really radical. So move on with love, okay? I was like, oh my God, I love this. Because your weekly spread that I did yesterday, the weekly tea, I was like extremes, fighting off dark thoughts. I think you uh, got getting into a better energy here, Libra. So the overall reason for the reading is death. What you're thinking about is the Empress. So you could be thinking about yourself, but this could be another person in your life or someone else's life. Libra, Taurus, wife, mother, married woman, archetypal energy. The action you're about to take or someone's about to take is the Six of Wands. I love that. Um, in the root here, what's driving you or someone. Again, this could be someone coming towards you but I feel like this for most of you, it's you, is the four of pentacles. So yeah, holding back and holding on a little bit, but it, it seems more like a, cons a con conservation of energy. I'm hearing a lot. And then the action soon to come in the near future is the knight of swords. I was like, whoa, somebody's going to go for it. 
Someone's gonna go for it. Eight of Pentacles to the Sun is at the bottom of the deck. I feel like someone's looking at details here, looking at a budget, looking at details, looking at something somewhere. It makes them feel very happy, warm and sunny. It's gonna take strength. We've got a King of Wands here. This could be a Leo or just you being strong and being the King of Wands for yourself, which is a leader in your own life. Very dynamic, very go with the flow, grand visionary energy. But Leo is, uh, King of Wands is always Sag for me, but I've got a Leo here, which is more fixed. Lots of Leo energy here for you. Bravery, heart of a lion energy, Libra. Seven of Cups, a little overwhelmed. Hair, okay, someone is looking at the past with the Page of Pentacles to the Six of Cups and the Three of Swords. That has made you or this person a little melancholy with the Four of Cups, but then thinking about the new beginning. I think someone's getting out of a loop or a period in their life where they were so, there was sort of a stalemate energy and a need for the healing and a letting go of the past to let the fire energy and the Aquarian energy, and that's good. Fate and time, trying to make a decision here, having a hard time moving forward, but here's the star, healing. And also the Six of Pentacles, uh, payout of some kind, equal give and take. So. The reason for the reading is death, clarifying death. Here's the Eight of Pentacles again, the Four of Cups and death. Um, well, first of all, with Scorpio energy coming out here, the death energy is more of Pluto energy. It's been very subconscious. It's been very subtle, but a long time coming. This progressive ending and change that brings a new beginning. With the Eight of Pentacles, the Four of Wands and death, someone could just be dealing with a Scorpio, but I see here that... I think someone's looking at details about a home and a house and where to live, transformation and ending. I'm hearing a wrapping up and a uh, finalizing of something here. It, death, when death came out twice, I felt really good. It felt good. Um, someone could be with the eight here, it could, with death, that's eighth house. You could be looking at wills, taxes, estates. The eighth house is Scorpio and it's other people's money. Other people's secrets, too. Here's the roots of the being with the Four of Wands, the fourth house. There is change in your fourth house and in your eighth house. Oh, for, look up your fourth and eighth house. It's for you or someone around you. What you're thinking about or what this person's thinking about is the Empress. Clarifying this is the world, the Eight of Wands, and I got the Queen of Wands. I, I wanted one more on the Queen of Wands and I got the Five of Swords. This is something I, I'm hearing a couple different messages. First of all, there is this ending. I see messages. I see rapid motion, maybe to a queen of wands. This could be another person. This person may not like what you're doing or where you're going. Someone may see you claiming independence. They're mad. Um, it's also possible I heard that someone's looking for a home or a job and you're going to fight for it. You're willing to fight for it. You'll fight off your competition. You'll fight for your independence. Uh, someone around you might not like your fiery, passionate, scattered energy all the time because this doesn't need to be you. This could be someone else. I'm hearing a mother figure, especially because the fourth house came out. Someone's mother might not like you. <laughs> oh, well, I don't think you care. Uh, I feel like this is you fighting for something here, Libra. You have the magic touch right now. You're also maybe thinking, I also saw Venus coming out quite a bit. You want that house. You want that job. You want the finer things. I see messages, emails about an ending, new beginning. They told me to move on. They told me you know what it is if this resonates for you. But the action being taken next is the Six of Wands. Clarifying this is the Fool, the Strength, and the Two of Wands. Wow, this is, I have chills. Someone, you got, if this is for you, Libra, you have the strength to do this. Remember, you have to be determined, strength, and you're on the right path. Look at this. A path has been cleared for you. The stag will lead the way. That's like God, masculine God energy. The rabbit's perking up its ears. The squirrel's looking. The path is being illuminated. Picking something in alignment with your goals, it will take strength to take a leap of faith. Aries season will bring an upswing in energy and then something may be happening in Leo season. This is success. 
the action being taken is a feeling of celebration, a feeling like whoever this is resonating for, that they're up above the crowd. This could even be like uh, getting a job, getting a promotion, upgrading in life, even a wedding or a graduation. It's like someone finally sees that they can take, they're strong enough to take a leap of faith. They found the right path. They found the path to the recognition and the success. That makes me want to cry. Like this feels so good for somebody. Um, in the the driven the driving position here is the four of pentacles clarifying this is the six of swords the eight of swords and the chariot I think this is about forward motion and where someone's going I actually feel like this is maybe a saving of money I also heard like someone's trying to move or purge a home and there's some things they're having a hard time letting go of. look how he's like bundling them up like no I don't I can and also how much can I carry and put in my chariot what do I need to save? What do I need to let go of? It's hard to move forward. It's it, Someone does kind of want to go slow because they're a little trapped in their self-limiting beliefs, but it's like the Cancerian chariot is saying ca cancers are driven people. Cancers are known for being like sweet and loving and kind, but they and they are, but they're also the chariot. They represent forward motion and drive towards victory. I just heard the word Valkyrie. Someone's a Valkyrie. It's almost like the chariot spiritually and energetically is saying to this person, I know that you think that you're trapped, but you and I both know you're not. And it's a little, someone's a little fearful to get in the chariot because once it takes off out of the garage into the into life, it's like, whoo, it's gonna go, go, go. So it is a little scary for someone to let go of like a slow place of transition. It's almost like, is this actually happening? Yeah, so they hold back a little bit. Maybe you're holding back a little bit because it's like, holy shit, this is gonna happen. And also there could be resistance in the environment. Like you've had to fight for this. Maybe you've had to fight with someone else or just win, winner takes all kind of energy here. But the, this final outcome or the, you know near future is the Knight of Swords. It's a risk. It's a risk. You're gonna go for it, Libra. Carpe diem, this is your moment. You may feel a little underqualified or out of your league or out of your depth. The Knight of Swords sometimes does, but he doesn't care. With the Five of Swords and the Knight of Swords, it's like, this has got to happen. This has got to happen. You're going to make this happen or someone's going to make this happen. I clarified it and initially I got the Seven of Cups, the Seven of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. Hmm. Well, first of all, I think someone's ready to chase a dream and break out of a pattern of like living in a fantasy and an illusion. Lots of choices. Someone may race towards something not even quite. What am I hearing? I'm hearing, well, someone's going to race towards this pinnacle and this new beginning, but they are acting upon their own behalf, maybe keeping some things to themselves. This su suggests that there's not a warm goodbye or a warm welcome. It's like you've had to fight for this. You've had to tread lightly. This person has had to, again, act upon their own behalf and maybe even keep some things, some secrets from some other people that may or may not have approved, maybe a part of themselves that didn't approve, and also racing towards something without a definitive uh, stopping point. It's like there's point A to point B, but this Knight of Swords is moving from point A and he's just going to land at the right choice, you know, and he'll, and he'll make it up as he goes along and he'll figure it out when he gets there. Not 100% sure where the final destination is, but the path is illuminated. And I think that someone's really trusting their feelings, definitely trusting their feelings. Otherwise, they wouldn't feel so proud and it's changing fate. I, I do still, and then I wanted to know what the Seven of Swords was, and I got justice to the Ace of Cups. Well, that's your card, Libra, justice. Someone has had to act upon their own behalf and kind of race towards a dream that isn't 100% fleshed out. Ending maybe something with a home or a job or a massive transformation that will definitely lead towards something new. And it's a big choice. 
and it's fair and it's balanced. So if this is someone coming towards you, they've, uh, this is what they want and they'll uh, keep some stuff to themselves. If it's another person, Libra, they may even keep, they may have had to keep their love for you to themselves as well. And I don't, this Queen of Wands could be someone else that's a little jealous or angry and maybe you're embodying this energy as well. You may get messages from this person. This could be your person's ex. Yeah, but it, it, you're on the right path or this person is on the right path in your life. So whoever this resonates for, be determined. You can do it. It is a risk, but you're you know, going to fulfill hopes and dreams and there will be big changes moving towards something really fiery and passionate and make, will make you very proud, make you feel very independent. And, you know, you or someone may not feel like they can move forward to a degree. The chariot's already here. It's already waiting. Your chariot awaits you, okay? It's just time to get in it. It's time for someone to give, get in, get in it and move on with love. Move on with love. Not everyone's feeling the love around you or this person, but they will move on with love and their support all around you. you just uh, go where you're supposed to go right now, Libra. You, you, will, you will find what you're looking for and the detail, there will be a lot of clarity and happiness surrounding all the details and what you're doing, what this person's doing and working on. I love that. I was like, oh, I'm glad I sat down and did this. This is a good daily download. It is timeless, so it could resonate any time that you're finding it. Okay, so that's your daily download, Libra, for March 6, 2022. If this resonates with you, I hope it's affirming, makes you happy, and I hope it helps you. Link to my website for private readings is down in the description below. I'm always listening to the universe for you, Libra, because I love you. Take care. I'll see you next time.